thank you guys so much for tuning into a brand new makeup monday it is your girl tabitha here today we have more dollar tree makeup to try out now i'm gonna show you guys everything first just so you can see what the packaging looks like if stuff works out and you're interested in it you know what to look for um and then i'm gonna go ahead and open everything up off camera and then we're going to get started because i feel like my last makeup monday i wasted so much time trying to open stuff up and that's why the video was a little bit longer so hopefully we can cut some of that time out today okay so the first thing that we're going to be trying are these makeup blender sponges we have one in purple we have one in blue it has its own little case with a mirror in the back of it so we're going to see if these are hopefully as good as the sassy and chic ones we tried before next up you guys know i had tons of the ionic lashes these were my favorite ones which are the wispy dramatic flare and i'll have to turn my ring light down a little bit too because i feel like it's super bright right now I did find some Wet n Wild products. We're going to be trying the Wet n Wild Instant Flawless Complexion Concealer in the color Posing Nude here. And also the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Soft Matte Lip Cream. They had several colors of these too. So we are going to be trying out a few of um, some Beauty Benefits products. I do have the Color Squad Purple Violet Eyeliner. The Beauty Benefits Golden Glow Highlighter. We also have two of the Color Squad eyeshadows. We have uh, Cinnamon. Cinnamon is the name of this one. And then we also have a kind of shimmer, shimmery one called Golden Goddess. We have a lip color that is the Champagne Ice. And we also have another one of their blushes, which is called Fruit Punch. So we're going to be a little bright today. Um, I also have um, this Beauty Essentials item that I found. Um, we have one of their lip glosses here. It came in the package just like this. And I totally forgot. I also have from this same brand here their um, eyebrow set. But I realized that after I did my brow. So we'll have to try that next week. So have one of these I have the mascara and I also have the um, eyeshadow trio which these appear to be all shimmer shades that's why I wanted to you know grab a few of these to play around with too so that's everything we're going to try today if you want to see how this stuff works out keep on watching as we're going to go ahead and get started we're going to start with the face first today so we're going to try out these little sponges here um, as you guys can see or saw they do have the little case that has a little mirror so that's a nice little touch to that so let's use the let's use the blue one so i'm just going to submerge it in the water here squeeze out the excess okay guys so this is how it looks you know damp compared to it dry so very soft very bouncy so it does have some potential here right, so we're going to go into juvia's place uh, this is the color Kampala and this is the I Am Magic Foundation. I think that should be good. And I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with some setting spray. And we're going to use a sponge and blend this out. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is how it is looking. I love this foundation. So this one is not as bouncy as the Sassy and Chic one. But as you guys can see, I mean, it wasn't hard to blend anything out. And kind of similar to the Sassy and Chic um, sponge. Um, and I did just clean my Sassy and Chic sponge when I was um, cleaning my makeup brushes. I cleaned the sponge. 
and there wasn't a lot of foundation like kind of absorbed into the sponge it was super easy to clean so I feel like this one's the same thing you kind of see everything kind of like sits on top it's probably not going to be a lot absorbed into, into the sponge which can be a very good thing save some product so yeah so again not as bouncy as the sassy and chic I do prefer the sassy and chic one over this one but this is still a good sponge like for a dollar it's definitely worth it so okay so next we're going to go into this concealer this is the wet n wild concealer it says it's instantly flawless complexion highlights features conceals imperfections and lifts dark areas so this is one of those that you have to twist we'll see if anything even comes out okay so you can see the color there and that's the reason why I didn't get the foundation because if you've ever used wet n wild face products then you know if you know you know sometimes their color is just way off it'll say cocoa and then it's fair you know you know what I mean so we're not gonna get too crazy with this literally literally this is about all I need yeah okay we want to use the sponge here and I'm just going to use the same side and we are going to blend this up okay so that isn't too bad I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more and just I'm not gonna press it up any or push it up any further just a little bit because I feel like I add too much I follow this um, professional makeup artist on TikTok so she gives like a lot of good helpful tips so this was one of her tips not to do like the triangle underneath your eye but just put it there spread it So, so far we are looking good. So I am going to go in with the LA Colors powder. We're going to go into the light medium powder. And this is from Dollar Tree too. You guys have seen me review this before. And again, we're going to go ahead and just set those areas. And next up, I'm going to go into the Beauty Benefits bronzer in the color Biscotti. I've had this for a while, but this is like my favorite bronzer to use. Like, period. Like, I like this even better than like some of my like high end stuff. Like, this is just look at that. It's just like the perfect color. And this is from the Beauty Benefits like older collection, but it's probably the same old bronzer that you can find with their newer collection. Okay guys, next we are going to go into the eyes here. So I'm going to first start off with the Beauty Benefits Color Squad in the color Cinnamon Canal. Let me say I appreciate Beauty Benefits now putting the name on the back of the package. When Beauty Benefits first hit the Dollar Tree, they did not put that. So I do greatly appreciate that. So we're going to kind of use this as a transitional shade here. So I'm just taking a small brush and again, you know, typical fallout craziness. So we're just going to tap that off and then we're just going to kind of put that all over the lid so I feel like you need to go in with a denser brush so we can really see this so just grabbing a denser brush here all 
Okay, so next we are going to go into this Beauty Essentials Tuscany Bold palette here. This is what the colors look like. We're going to do a quick swatch. And they are very soft. And look at these colors here. One dollar for this. Okay. So I think we're just going to go ahead and use all three. We're just going to go from lightest to darkest. So I'm going to start with, actually let's take that small brush and let's go in with this dark color here. And yeah, it's a shimmer shade, but we're going to work with it. So again, typical, you know, fallout. So we're going to dust it off and we're going to put that color right on the end here. So that color is not bad at all. You know, you could play around with, you know, brightening it up a little bit, but I like it how it is. It's not bad. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly wipe off my brush. We're going to go into this middle shade here. And we are going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put it right next to this color here. Okay guys, so that one is definitely a little bit more shimmery, but that is actually really nice. Okay, next we're going to take a flat brush and we're going to go into the brightest shade right here. And we're going to put that right on the lid. I love that color oh my gosh okay so I'm gonna go back into that middle shade and we're just gonna give that a little bit more oh fall out fall out fall out we're gonna give that a little bit more shine and I think that's good gonna fall out on the face but we're gonna grab a fluffy brush it's gonna grab a nice little fluffy brush and get all that off I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so I'm going to go into this other color. Oops. I'm going to go into this other color squad color, and this is called Gold Goddess right here. We're going to see how this is and see if we can put that right in the inner corner. So, might not. Yeah, it's a little darker than I'd. I mean, you can tell it's dark just by looking at it, but yeah, it's a little dark to be the inner corner, but I'm going to go with it. Okay, looking good so far. So we're going to go into this Beauty Benefits Mascara. And this is the wand here. And since we're wearing false lashes today, we don't need a ton of this on. So, one coat should be good. So, this one is just okay. It's not bad for... You know a little dollar mascara but it isn't the best either the beauty benefits one kind of worked a little better than this one not yeah beauty benefits so i'm gonna put on a second coat because honestly after one coat it's kind of hard to tell 
So I'm just going to put on the second one here. Next up, just a little pop of color, we are going to add the Color Squad Liquid Eyeliner. Um, yeah, this purple one here. So I'm just going to swatch it on my hand because, oh, okay, it seems like it'll do something. So we're going to grab my LED light here. And we are going to do some eyeliner. So as you guys can see, it doesn't keep a consistent like line of color just going. It's really streaky. Um, you know, this, you know, just one pass kind of got me, you know, a little darker color, but it's just not going to work out. It's just not what I was hoping for. So I thought that would really look cute, a little pop of color on here, but this is a no. The benefits the eyeliners have just not been consistent lately and i just i'm over it we have the beauty benefits lasting flush blush in the color fruit punch so i feel like that'll be kind of cute it is very bright honey and the camera is doing this no justice at all like absolutely none it is very very bright so like literally that's it that's all i'm going to use Add a little bit more. Bam, bam. Okay, I actually really like that. Makes me look a little flushed. I don't, I don't mind that. I actually really think that's really cute. I like this. Beauty benefits blushes. And their bronzers are good to be a dollar they're always good usually okay we are going to go in with this highlighter this is the beauty benefits glow with the flow highlighter so we're going to take a small little highlighting brush here and So the highlighter is really cute. Love that. Real cute. Okay, let's move on to the lip products. The first one is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color. I don't know. So this is just one of those you kind of squeeze the color up. If it works, is it going to squeeze up or not? There we go. That is weird. It kind of feels like, oh no, it's just really, the consistency is kind of like chalky. And honey, this is probably old. And that's probably why I made it to the Dollar Tree in the first place. I actually kind of like the color, but yeah, it's like, it's just not consistent. And it's just like real chalky. I just I don't like that. And that wouldn't and that wouldn't have went too bad with this look. A little clumped. Move on to the Beauty Benefits So Lit Lip Gloss Shine. In the color I don't know because they don't have the color on here for some reason. It smells amazing. 
and again this will be cute on top of you know a lipstick or something like that it's cute feels like your average lip gloss not sticky I love the smell of it I love that's, that's great and we're gonna try this one from Beauty Essentials and this is the Ambergris so I like the, this packaging here this reminds me of the the Revlon is it Revlon? I think it's Revlon this smells amazing it smells like a donut I'm just gonna leave that like that it's cute got a little gloss a little shine to it that's cute okay guys last but not least we're going to be trying out these Ioni lashes again this is the style wispy dramatic flare now I did have to cut these a little bit I did do that off camera but like most eyelashes you know we all have to cut them down a little bit um, it always has that little access on the end so you have to cut that off so it doesn't, you know, look weird or fit weird on your eye. This is how this style looks here after it's been cut. I am also going to use the Ioni. Let's take it out of the packaging here. Ioni eyelash glue. So, and then I knew it was a little bit different from that other package I bought. The other package is just plain white, but I knew it was different. So yeah, so we are going to make sure that we coat this really well. Make sure you get the ends good. I'm going to be going outside in the elements today. It's a nice day from Minnesota in December. We don't have no snow and I think it's like 50 degrees out. For other states it's probably freezing cold, but for Minnesota for December, that is amazing. So the kids and I are going to go on the wall. We're going to walk to Dollar Tree, which is just a couple blocks away just to get out the house and get some fresh air. Oh my god, what happened to my other lash? We are going to put these lashes on. I'm going to use my LED light and we're going to use a little eyelash holder here. Even though I cut it, like look how dramatic it still is. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I love these. Okay, hey guys, so that was everything. Um, I do want to point out that the lashes are very comfortable on the eyes. Um, sometimes these like dramatic lashes can be a little much, but they actually don't feel too bad. They don't, you know, feel irritating or any irritating or anything like that. So, of everything that I tried today, the only thing that was kind of a miss was the Beauty Benefits liner. I don't know what's going on with their liner, but but everything else, pretty much loved it. You guys, if you can't find the Sassy and Chic blenders, definitely would recommend getting the ones that are in the, like, the little containers by themselves. And yeah that is it y'all so thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video as always i appreciate you guys for watching do not forget to like comment and subscribe that way you will not miss another video thanks guys so much i will check you guys out in the next video bye